What's poppin' fam? What's good? Today, girl, we are about to do a fun little look using some puffs that I purchased on Amazon. Of course, they're linked below. But these were really inexpensive hair pieces. So when you open it up, you have your bag of hair. There's also some hoops in the bag too. So when you open it up, you have it wrapped in a little net and there's some stuffing on the inside. I took it out already. When you open it completely, you'll see that there's two combs in it, okay? So I got two girl and they each were $6.99 and they're Amazon Prime as well so you get free shipping. It got here in two days exactly. It has four stars in the reviews. I read through the reviews and I didn't really see anything that made me feel like this wouldn't serve the purpose for which I intend to use it. So let's hop into trying this on girl. It's gonna be so much fun. So step one, we need to get this hair nice and sectioned. My hair is a old blowout and it's definitely reverting. My ends are like, <laughs> girl, what you doing? We ready to be washed. So after this look, I'm definitely gonna wash my hair, but I just wanted to have a little fun with it before I wash it. I used these Cricut hair ties that I got from Sally Beauty and I'm gonna be using them for this style because they're ouchless. So these do not have the hard metal piece here at the top. It's just glue and it actually doesn't snag. Sometimes this part will still snag in my hair, but this doesn't snag, so I really like these. All right, so Sierra Med Gala, she had the baby hair, she had the sleek style. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 360 spray bottle right here. I got this from Sally Beauty as well, and what's inside is my Ajwa Beauty Leave-In Conditioner mixed with a little bit of water. Always remember to shake it up. I'm gonna focus this on the roots of my hair. I'm gonna use my brush with the best brush. It's real dirty, don't judge me. Just to kind of detangle my hair a little bit. I'm gonna spray my ends too because they need a little moisture. I definitely recommend mixing leave-in conditioner into your spray bottles. Don't just spray your hair with water. Put some moisture in there too, girl. So now I'm gonna take some Shine and Jam that I purchased from Sally Beauty. And I'm gonna use this because I feel like it's gonna really sleek everything out well. But I'm just taking a rat tail comb and really working in that product. So you really wanna make sure your hair is real detangled at this part. But I like it because you see how sleek the Let's Jam is getting my hair? It looks really straight. And I'm also going to do the same thing in the back. I'm gonna also take my Silk Elements bristle brush and just brush my hair up. Now that everything's sleek in the front and the back, we can go ahead and put it in a ponytail. I'm really just about to just secure this just like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, fun. Now that we've got that done, I'm gonna take my Laid and Slayed Pro Gel by Urban Hydration. Now I got this from Sally Beauty as well. It's a really inexpensive gel, like $5.99, and it works great on sleeking your hair. Now I wanna pair it with this Shine Jam because the Shine Jam doesn't hold in my hair by itself but it does a great job at getting that initial sleekness. So my inspiration for this part is definitely Sierra's look, and she has like a little V in the front, so I'm going to just make a little part here, bring this down like that. So that's swoop number one. Now we need to do that about three more times. And this is working good. It's just getting that holding power is the problem. My hair is super curly. All right, so this is the finished look of the baby hairs. Now Sierra has four, but I'm just gonna do three. Now that I've got the edges done, I'm gonna grab my rapid styling strip. All right, so now I'm gonna lay down these edges. So I'm gonna let this sit for like 30 minutes or so until it's fully dry. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and put on our puff. 
So each puff has two clips, one on each side. And I'm gonna start by installing the first clip. So I push the first clip into the top of the ponytail. And then the second clip I'm gonna put at the bottom of the ponytail. I'm gonna pinch both clamps together. And then as I hold it, I'm going to pull the drawstring. So you're gonna just push in the button and pull and slide up that little piece to tighten it. Then once you've gotten it tightened, you can just wrap the string around. Now to add more security, you can bobby pin this into your little puff. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so these are the puffs installed. So we'll let the baby hair dry. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll be back with the final look. Okay guys, so I have did my makeup and now it's time to see what lies underneath the baby hairs. So every time I take these little wraps off, I just rip them in the back. Ooh, yes, it looks really cute. I love these puffs. I think that they're so cute. And I know my look is a little bit extra, a little bit dramatic, but you can definitely wear this as a natural look. You can get it in a solid color. So they have black. They also have like a 30 color, which is the color of my hair right now underneath this. And then they also have like, you know, the pops, the pops, the 27s. And I think it's really cute. It's really fluffy and it's very soft. So for your convenience, I have everything linked down below. Let me know, would you give this puff a try? And be sure to join me over at my latest and greatest videos. Click here or click there. I'll see you over there. Until next time, bye guys. <laughs>